it's me and today I have another mystery power box unboxing so I have one recorded from a couple months ago of the older boxes that you haven't seen yet but I'll be posting that so you might see that one before this um, but this is one of the newer ones and yes it is open I opened it because mystery power box company MJ holding cannot be trusted Okay, I've bought a couple of these as well as many, many YouTubers, big name YouTubers, and there's always usually a problem with them. And once again, there is a problem with this box. So, um, I did email customer service, they sent a replacement, but they sent me an Elite Trainer box from Guardians Rising, which I guess is okay, but... Um, it's not really a product replacement because it's a different product. Anyways, we'll see. I'll show you what's in here. That's everything. You already know what's supposed to come in here, but just in case you don't, there is a 1 in 5 chance supposedly to get, um, a like vintage or older pack but it, it's a little what they consider vintage is a little sketchy because I've gotten boxes before that had the sixth pack in it which is supposed to be vintage and it was like flash fire I mean flash fire is an amazing set but not vintage so you got to be careful here's just some of the packs five booster packs there's five packs in here two mystery items one coin and one code card so here is the coin shock it's not pikachu we have froakie and the one of the mystery items is this hollow foil is it a promo no it's just a hollow a hollow rare from 2012 can't remember what set that was a long time ago but as you can see it's pretty damaged I mean they couldn't have thrown that in a penny sleeve it cost a freaking penny like you know it's a little annoying they sent a coat I mean it came with a code card and it's for Sun and Moon uh, trainer kit Alolan Sand Slash and Alolan Ninetales is what it says the other mystery item is a pin. I already have this one, but it's a pretty cool pin. And it's not damaged, thankfully. So, I'll show you when we get there. First pack is Cosmic Eclipse. So this one doesn't look too bad. It's a little warped, but it's not the worst. Some of the other packs are like way worse. card out of there. I would love to pull something from Cosmic Eclipse because honestly I don't really have much from this set because the pull rates are just so bad. So we have an Onyx, Wilmer, Palpitoad, Cricketot, Apom, Darkness Energy, Dragonium Z, Dragon Claw, Dust Clops, Professor Oak's setup, didn't spoil anything, just the reverse, which is a rare Ursaring and regular rare Alolan Mob. Okay guys, ready for the next pack? Look at this. Look at it. It's, it's bent in half. If there's a rainbow rare Zard in here, I am going to be livid. Of course, it's Burning Shadows. That's like one of the worst packs. I mean, you could see they're just bent. Look at that. Look at that. 
I'm so annoyed by this. Like, come on, that was done before it was put in this box. So why did you put it in there if you knew it was damaged? Like, that annoys me. That's trying to rip people off. Pan pour, Alolan Rotata, Mud Bray. All these cards are not worth anything in this condition. Magikarp, Pan Seer. Not that bulk is worth anything, really. <clears throat> Energy, Mount Monokila, Wick, Wiki. We say it. Skate rope, Magikarp, just a common, and regular rare. I'm honestly kind of glad that one was a regular rare. I mean, if the rest of them are also like regular rares, I'm gonna also be annoyed. This one, Sun and Moon Base, also bent straight in half. Like, there's absolutely no quality control with this like shady company. And I would just recommend you don't buy their products because there's only so many times I can complain to customer service and them literally not do anything. And I know there's been other um, YouTubers that have made videos about not buying these products because they are so terrible. And a couple times even I think um, MJ Holding Company reached out to them and was like, let us replace the products because they're so bad. But do you honestly think they're going to do that in my situation because I'm just a person who shares their collection and love for Pokemon? I don't have thousands of subscribers, so, you know, it's a little shady. Dratini, Spearow, Psyduck, Eevee, Picky Peck, Fighting Energy, Crocorock, Rainbow Energy, Chargerbug, Dratini, and Dragonite Hollow. That's worth negative one dollar <laughs> at this point. Okay, next we have Sword and Shield. This one's, I think, okay. So, Sword and Shield base pretty good set, decent uh, pull rates, so hopefully get something good. Ghastly, Rookity, I don't have a lot of Sword and Shield either, um, obviously the whole quarantine and everything, I really haven't been out too much, now they're lifting it and things are opening, um, we're in like phase two. Uh, so now I'm starting to be able to go to the store and stuff. Snom, I ordered some online here and there, but you know, some places like to upcharge you on stuff like that, so couldn't buy too much. Mawile, Darkness Energy, Mantine, Crushing Hammer, Switch, Sizzlepeed again. Is this a rare? No, just a common. And more Peko. I actually have this card, but it is really, really cute. A little bit warped, but not too bad. So that's pretty good. Ultra rare and hollow so far. Last pack is Cosmic Eclipse. This one's a little bit bent, but not too bad. We we'll really, really want to pull something out of Cosmic Eclipse. But I mean, Sword and Shield, I think, is a good set. It, it isn't among my favorites, to be honest, but. It is a good set. So, Flabebe, Sneasel, Natu, Trapinch, Sphiel, <laughs> Rip Fairy Energy, Cynthia and Caitlin, Clay, Primplup, Common Reverse, Cosmog, and Regular Rare Sun Floor. So, five packs. Um, promo all that stuff if everything was undamaged i would not be upset about it but an ultra and a rare and five packs is still pretty good odds so i don't think the packs were weighed or anything like that um it honestly would be an amazing product because i love the hunt and the mystery and the possibility of getting something rare i think makes it really cool and exciting but the fact that they just produce like really low quality they throw things in the box just like willy-nilly <laughs> nobody says that anymore and i sound so old but um 
you know what I mean? If it wasn't for like the bent in half packs and the damage promos and mystery gifts, like it would be a really cool product. They just need to really do something about that. But you guys let me know. Do you love or hate these products in between? So, so what do you think? Can you trust them? Can you not trust them? Um, the customer service is kind of hit or miss as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. I'll greatly appreciate it. Feel free to let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'll absolutely get back to you. I hope you enjoyed enough to subscribe or at least come back and watch future content. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.